So this is the third video of our playlist. If you like the content, do like and subscribe the channel. Okay. So today we will continue our last topic that was the how can HR analytics be used by the organization. For that, what we need to do understand, what we need to do is the understanding the process of the HR analytics. Now, for analysis, what is required? We need data, right? And the data must be collected to gain the problem solving insight. Once the data is to be collected, what we need to do is, we need to do monitor and measure against the other data. For example, we have a 2022 data, right? We will monitor this data and we will measure the data against the other data. Now what kind of other data would be? So 2021 data we can have, we can have also the 2020 data. So what we will do, we will monitor and measure the data. Right? Now at this point, it will help us to identify first the trends and the patterns. What kind of a trend in this year? What kind of a trend was in this year? And what is the trend of the pattern this year? Right? At this point, only at this point, we will get the result. And that result can be analyzed. Right? Whatever the result we get from this monitoring or comparing the data, the final step is to apply that insight for making the better decision for the future, for the future plan or the organizational decision. Right? Now let's take a closer look. How the actually agile analytic process work? Instead of making it a more complex things or more complex topic, we'll take up two topics to understand in a very simple manner. The first one is a collecting the data and the second one is the measurement. For analysis, we need only two things, right? We should have the data and we will measure, right? We will analyze the data. Now, in a collecting data, the big data refers to the high quantity of information that is collected and aggregated by the actual analytics. For what purpose it actually aggregate the data? For the purpose of analyzing and evaluating. Evaluating the key practices of the HRs. For example, the recruitment data, the performance management, training, anything could be there. Right? So the most vital component of the actual analytics is collecting and tracking the data or the high quality data. First, we will do the collecting. The second is the tracking. Vital component. Right? So, before collecting the data, we need to keep the two things in our mind, which is very important. That the data should be easily obtainable and is be capable of being integrated in the reporting system. Each and every organization uses some reporting system, right? So whatever the data we are actually collecting, it should be easily capable of integrated in that reporting system. So that whatever the data we have, it should not go waste. If we will get the data which is not getting or using by the reporting system, our efforts, our time will be waste. Right? Now, the second most important thing that we should keep in our mind, the system that we, uh, the system that is collecting the data should also be able to aggregate it. Meaning, whatever the system we have, right? that should also be capable of being sort the data and also aggregate the data. And only then we can get the better results. Right. Now, I hope this point is clear, the collection of the data. 
Now the second point is the measurement. At this stage, the collected data begins the process of a continuous measurement and comparison. And this is also known as the matrix. Right? So, the measurement is the stage where we will compare the data. We will measure the data. Who will measure the data? The actual analytic. So, actual analytic compares the data. Whatever the data we have, he will compare that. Now, the process of data or the measurement, it cannot rely on the single snapshot of data. For example, we have only 2022 data. It will not give us the better result. We can't rely on only single snapshot data. For that, we need the last to last year data as well. Right? For example, how can an organization or how does an organization accept the acceptances range if it was not defined first? If we say we have absentees this year, Without making any kind of definition in this year, how can we set the range of the absentees? I hope this concept is clear. Like how the actual analytic process actually works. 